Can you identify yourself? Uh, Patrick Leonard, Principal of Office High School. Uh, Dr. Leonard, uh, what can you tell us about the extent of the injuries uh, at this time uh, to the coaches and players? Well, at this time, uh, everything seems to be um, well with uh, some broken noses and maybe some stitching. Um, the coaches seem to be okay, uh, so uh, not sure about uh, some of the uh, students that are at other hospitals. But we have a person that will go into those hospitals to try to get uh, information for us. Uh, as far as the parents' concerns, what can you tell us about that? Our parents are, are all positive. They, uh, they're giving uh, accolades to the bus driver. Uh, Amy did a wonderful job as kids uh, accounting and said uh, she kept it uh, upright. So there was no tumbling, especially since the front end was practically demolished. She did an excellent job of uh, keeping everybody safe without rolling over and uh, going into a ditch. Uh, so, and the parents are all uh, in a uh, positive mood. And I did uh, meet with the ones that uh, are here and um, indicated to them we are uh, tomorrow uh, through the parish we have a, um, a little session uh, at school that where the students and parents can come with the counselors and social workers to talk things out and, and do um, what, the, what the counselors and I do best is to allow the kids to um, kind of just walk through it and um, get the, I don't know what the terminology would be psychologically, but uh, just get there, get to understand what happened and, um, and then to, to use coping mechanisms to, to move on. And as far as the uh, school system personnel who are on the case right now, uh, uh, you mentioned uh, uh, Bobby Vado. Well, Bobby Vado, Ms. Billado, assistant superintendent, is, is here. Um, we, uh, myself, uh, my assistant principals, I have a counselor that's here. I have another counselor that's in uh, Iberia, uh, going to Iberia and uh, Franklin uh, Memorial. So, yeah, we're spreading ourselves out as we find information of where the students are. We're spreading ourselves out to make contact with the parents and the students and um, you know, show that support and that uh, trying to find out what do we need else to do. So uh, here we have a whole uh, group of uh, from, uh, Beverly Burrow, uh, uh director of uh, counseling. Um, she's on board with uh, putting things together as I contact her and give her up-to-date information. So she's setting up with other counselors uh, the the session for tomorrow, and we'll have follow-up sessions Monday and Tuesday as needed uh, for the students. And um, even students at Lafayette High that were involved were not involved in this, they're friends of, of the baseball players, that kind of thing. So uh, we extend it out to everybody to, to talk. Well, I appreciate that. And also, uh, one last thing about mm -hmm. uh, Coach Ortego, uh, specifically him, uh, his condition and what you know. Uh, what I know is right now, uh, everything looks good uh, as far as the scans, brain scans and such. He does have some stitching and uh, he'll probably have a headache, he had a concussion and uh, soreness and stuff. But uh, uh, hopefully uh, he could, he'll be released today. And as far as the kids' injuries, the number of concussions and other types of injuries? I'm uh, not sure about the numbers, but uh, most of them were uh, maybe possibly uh, quite a few broken noses, uh, some stitching. And it seems like it was the uh, the facial area with the, the lip uh, area with, with the stitching and such. Uh, but um, overall, you know, from my point of view, it, uh, we're, we're lucky that it didn't extend further than that. Thank you very much, Doc. Thank you. Thank you. I wish I had more.